again. Trying to make videos, lots and lots of videos. Because I'm going to be gone for nine weeks. If you watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm going to be gone for nine weeks. Or if you know me, then you know I'm going to be gone for nine weeks. I'm going to swing my kids. So, I just left my recruiter's office and I don't think it's really hit me yet that I'm leaving and I'm going to be gone for a while, but I'm leaving in a week and I guess that's it. Hmm, what to talk about? Let's talk. Hmm. I don't know. And my son, Thomas, last night, he hasn't been sleeping very well. Oh, I got smudges. Sorry. Okay. So he didn't go to sleep very well. He doesn't go to sleep very well at all. So he was. Uh, not going to sleep and then finally did so we moved into his bed because both of the boys um, go to fall asleep in mommy and daddy's bed and then they get moved to their own bed La Oscar usually sleeps all night in his bed and if not then he'll get up and come to our bed and then Thomas usually wakes up and he has to go potty because he's potty trained but he wanted to come. Oh, sorry. He wanted to come back to mommy and daddy's bed last night. Um, but Oscar was already in there and he was taking up so much room that I decided I was going to go sleep in Thomas's bed with him. And he's so sweet. Whenever I'm sleeping with him in his bed, he always like rubs my face or he will give me kisses and tell me he loves me and oh, it's just so sweet. So he did that last night or no it was really early this morning. I think maybe not really early. It was like six o'clock this morning that he woke up and wanted uh, to lay in bed with us but so I went and laid with him and when he woke up we heard my Anthony and Oscar coming down the hallway because um, apparently my alarm had gone off since I had to get up and meet Petty Officer Jansen this morning and Thomas says oh, I hear Oscar I said yeah I think he's coming up your stairs and sure enough the little head pops up the stairs and he said mommy Oscar is my bestest friend he always says that. I don't know where he got it from. He watches, um, like, when they go to bed. Oh, jeez. Sorry. When they go to bed at night or whenever they lay down to go take a nap, they get to watch an episode of something. Usually it's they want to watch an episode of Mickey Mouse or Dora or Team Umizoomi, the one they've been watching. So though, I don't know, he might have seen it on one of those um, episodes that he watches before he goes to bed. They also like, they also like to watch uh, yoga before they go to bed. They call it playtime. And he knows, oh my god. He knows that the playtime videos are not as long as, like, an episode of Mickey Mouse because, like, a regular episode is, like, 23 minutes or something. An episode of playtime is, like, 8 minutes or 7 minutes, 10 minutes, something, depending on which one it is. So, I think he knows that it's not as long as the other ones are. So, anytime we ask him if he wants to watch playtime, he says, no, but... If you turn it on, he'll sit and watch it. He always asks for something to like eat after everything is done and the lights are off and he's supposed to be going to sleep. He'll come out, even if he ate right before he went to bed, he'll come out and say, I'm hungry. Anything to keep him going to sleep. That's
that's what he does. He gets up and says he's hungry, or get up and says he wants a cup of water. But Oscar, if you're laying in there with him, he tries to play with Thomas to keep himself awake. He will, I have to separate them, so one on each side. And um, Oscar will reach over and like smack Thomas in the face and say, Thomas! Or he will be laying there and he'll get to where his like eyes are closed and he's almost asleep and he'll start going wiggle 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 and like shake his arms to try to keep himself awake. They're smart little kids. They're smart. I would just lay there and fall asleep, but not kids. They don't know until they get older. Nice this to sleep. Uh, they're so cute. I'm going to miss them so much. Uh, and my husband, too. I'm going to miss him a lot. I hope they miss me. I'm sure they will. The first day after um, I leave to go to boot camp, the day that I leave, Anthony is off so he can take care of the kids the f first day and um, take or go meet me at the airport watch me swear and re-swear in whenever I'm at Nips. Um, but the next day, our, my awesome friend Shannon is going to start watching the boys out at the farm that her, um, significant other works at. Um, and Anthony's going to take them to the farm, the first um, couple of days that she has to watch them, or that she's going to watch them, because I don't, I'm sure they'd be fine if they were at our house with Shannon, but I don't want them to be there and think that I'm there, or, you know, because that's where mommy was always at. I'm always at home with them, so he's going to take them to Shannon's uh, the first few days, and then on the weekend they'll be at home. Uh, probably with Minga, and then Sunday, Anthony is off, so then, I don't know what they're going to do after that, probably, I, he's doing, they're doing two weeks, uh, two days a week out at the farm, and two days a week at home, I think, is how it's going to work, uh, so, that'll be good. And they love the farm. So I think it's awesome, awesome, awesome that Shannon is going to be watching them. Victoria was going to watch them, and that was going to be great too because she lives like two minutes from her house. And they know Victoria, and they know Leah, and they know Nick, so that would have been good. But she's getting a job for my kids, yay for her. Um, but my kids love the farm, and they love Shannon. And they love Lucy. And I think Oscar, if you are watching any of these, Shannon, be prepared. Oscar may try to start nursing you, nursing from you again. But, you know, if he does, whatever, I don't care. If he doesn't, then that's, I also don't care. Because I know that I can't nurse him anymore. My milk has dried up that out. Oh, well, it's not completely gone, I guess. It's like, mm, a little bit still there. Because I can squeeze some milk out. <laughs> I'm sure everyone wants to hear this. I can squeeze some milk out, but not not enough for anybody to nurse off of. And Oscar tried to latch on the other day, but uh, like, it hurt really bad because there was nothing coming out. And he has a nurse in two so they were kind of tender anyway, and so he still knows how to nurse, so if he tries to nurse from Shannon, then he'll be, oh, he'll be so happy, but nursing from me, not so much, he doesn't like it, because it's all dried up.
my goal for Thomas was a year, and I made it six months. My goal for Oscar was two years, and I made it 18 months. So, at least I did it longer this time. Still kind of sad that he's not nursing. But, when I went to MIPS, the first time in June, when I went in June, I was still nursing, like, a lot. Because he was just 13 months old, so he was nursing all the time, constantly. And I, being the smart person I am, bridge, I decided I was not going to bring my pump or anything with me to the hotel the night before I went to MIPS. And then, I mean, I wasn't going to have it all day at MIPS anyway. Oh my, that was a mistake. I was in agony. And then the doctor... paper robe and my underwear. No, just my paper robe. I didn't have any underwear. Anyway, I went in my little paper robe. The front of it is drenched because I hadn't fed my baby in a day. So I had been leaking all over and leaked all over my paper robe. And when I got in to see the doctor, he saying something. I don't remember. But the nurse was like, oh, Dr. So-and-so, she's lactating. And he was like, what? The nurse said, she's lactating. He just looked at me like, what? I said, I am nursing still. He goes, well, you're not going to do that when you go to boot camp, are you? I said, no, I plan on weaning him before then. He said, so you're lactating? I said, would you like for me to show you? He goes, no, no, no. I, I, uh, I believe you or something like that. So, I'm glad he believed me. Because then, because they have to do, like, a breast exam and all that stuff. I said, well, we got to check for lumps. I said, you're going to fill a lot of them. I promise, or I don't, I don't promise. I don't think that I have breast cancer, but they're full of lumps right now. Because it's full of milk. They're like boulders. He just, like, barely touched one. He was like, I can't feel anything through that. So they didn't do breast exam. <laughs> but whenever he pushed down, milk came out. I told him. The nurse told him. He didn't listen, apparently. So anyway, last night I um, went through... I had asked people for, like, addresses and stuff on Facebook. I don't know if... Some people just think that I wouldn't want to write them. I want to write everybody. I don't know if some people have given me their address before and think that I still have it. That's not the case. I don't have it. Uh, so I went through where people whoa, had given me their addresses and I wrote them in my little black address book and wrote down phone numbers that... I may call. Highly unlikely. I'll probably just call my husband. Or if I know that my kids are with the babysitter, I will call them. So maybe I can talk to them. But that's really the only people I plan on calling. Sorry if you thought you were going to get a call from me from boot camp. It's probably not going to happen. Now, if you give me your address, I'll write you letters. I will try to write you letters. Because from what I've read my research Sunday is like holiday day or something until f three or four I don't know until three or four so I get to do whatever I want I can take a long shower I can write letters which is what I plan on doing because I don't really take long showers anyway I don't shave my legs a lot I've got really short hair, so it doesn't take me a long time to get my hair clean. Not that everybody's going to have long hair there anyway, because in boot camp for the Navy, they cut your hair. Everybody gets their hair cut. It's not allowed to touch your collar. I heard that the other branches of the military don't require you to cut your hair when you're in boot camp. I think it's good. I think you get, like, fresh start whenever you get to Navy boot camp. Everything is a fresh start. They send everything home. They 
think I'm going to maybe like write a letter to my husband to my kids and like stick it in my pocket or something so that whenever they ship everything home I would hope you would go through my pockets because I usually have my chapstick in there so I would think you'd go through my pockets I may tell him to go through my pockets anyway uh, and write them a letter telling them how much I'm gonna miss them and all that stuff so I will probably do that What else? Hmm. I don't know. I've got to go back to the recruiting center today because Professor Jansen forgot to do a paper that I had to fill out. Forgot to do it. I have to get my spouse to sign it because it is like our um, income stuff make sure I'm not like the breadwinner I guess and then we're not gonna be making any money I don't know. whatever so I have to go back to West Knoxville later but at least it's not raining anymore it is wet and yucky out but it's not raining oh thank god I you know it's funny because we're probably like one of the only States, sections of the state that we get out for out of school. I mean, I'm not in school, but like the city schools and the county schools are out of school, a lot of them, for flooding. Like, it doesn't. Uh, I think it's kind of funny that we get out for flooding. Out of school for flooding. It's weird. I mean, we always, when I was growing up, we never had these crazy, crazy, rainy spells where like everything was underwater that just doesn't happen or didn't happen we, the only time we ever got out of school was if it was snowing but then I mean I live where it doesn't really snow a whole lot so the just the threat of snow would get us out of school and then it would probably not even snow at all so but I'm turning onto my road now getting ready to turn my oldest son, Thomas, he's so smart. Whenever we turn onto our road, he'll go, Mommy, this is our road. It's Costa Road. Every time. And you ask him where we live, and he'll tell you Costa Road. Oh, he's so sweet. Okay, so I'm getting ready to leave my house. So I'm going to get off here and go see my family for a little bit before my husband has to go to work. And I will probably make another video later. Okay, bye.